Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a beautiful week. For those of you that are new, my name is Orly and this is the DIY designer. I do really fun DIY fashion and home decor and really I'm all about giving you the tools to customize your wardrobe to your taste exactly. To kind of create your own unique style language and use DIY and customize clothing to do that. It is so much fun and today's DIY is perfect for that. I'm gonna show you seven ways to unhem your jeans. It's a thing. It's actually like a real thing that tons of brands and designers are doing right now and they are all very expensive and there is no need for that because you can do them with scissors and a washing machine and that's pretty much it. This is like a beginner, beginner level DIY, but such high impact. So I hope that you guys will do this with me. I am gonna show you how you can create fringe hem jeans, how you can create a double hem jeans, how you can release the hem of your jeans to make them longer, how you can create curves and angles and shapes, how you can reveal the white horizontal threads or the blue vertical threads. It is such an easy DIY to do and it's quite addictive, which is why there are seven in this video. So warning, just a warning, you're going to want to do it to all of your jeans. Um, but that's it. That's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to get right into it. If you have any questions, you know, I'm always here. So comment them down below. And if you're new, I hope that you like what you see and you'll subscribe and like this video. That would be such a huge help. We are going to start with the fringy jeans because they are so fun. All right, so here are the jeans. These are jeans that I got at H&M a while ago. They're really cute, but the length is just real funky to me. They're like wide leg. They're not quite long enough to be long, not quite short enough to be short. So I am going to create the fringed effect. First things first, I'm just gonna cut a little bit off to get them at the right length. And now we're gonna basically create little fringy tabs. Go all the way across, creating them basically the same height, although I will say I end up changing this later. Now that you've got your fringy tabs, use your fingers to pull the threads out. You wanna pull the vertical threads. Keep pulling, keep pulling. As you go, what's gonna happen is that as you pull the vertical threads, it's gonna reveal some of the horizontal threads. As you start pulling some of the horizontal threads, it'll make it easier to pull the vertical threads. So again, you're gonna start with each little tab. You're gonna pull out as many threads as you can with your fingers, then start pulling the vertical and the horizontal. Then I recommend just sitting in front of the TV because this is just a step and repeat process that is not gonna take, it took me about an hour, I'd say, to do one leg, so not too bad. Now it started having this sort of uneven effect, which I really liked. So what I did is I actually cut some of the strips into smaller strips, which makes it much easier. And I cut some of them longer and shorter than others. Another thing I realized is once you get a good amount of it out, you can take tweezers to remove the horizontal threads and then boop, it just pulls right out. So as you're going, you'll start to find quick hacks for making it go faster and faster. The very first one you do is gonna take the longest and the rest will go quickly. Now I decided to also cut off the waistband of these jeans because they were so high that it like looked funky. It was just weird. So grab a seam ripper. First, you're gonna need to remove all of the belt loops, obviously, so that you can cut the waistband off. Now, you need the strongest scissors you have and you're gonna cut through the meatiest portion of the waistband. The reason you wanna do that is that when you wash it, all of those different layers inside, there's tons of layers, all of those layers will start to fray. You're gonna throw them in the wash, it will start to fray and uh, release the threads even more and more and this is what they look like. I'm gonna do a full modeling session later with video so you can really see it but there is a little sneak peek. Okay, let's move on to the next one. These are another pair of jeans that I had in my craft closet. They fit great but I just wasn't wearing them. They were just like a weird length, I don't know, again, same sort of issue. What I thought I would do is create this angled fringe look. Much shorter fringe than the last one, really only about an inch, but I like the angled look where it goes up on the outer leg and longer on the inner leg. In order to do this, I recommend doing little itty bitty like slices. You don't have to do this. You could just throw it in the wash over and over again, but by doing these little tiny slices, it's gonna really help it along the way, especially because these particular jeans have a little bit of lycra in them, which means they're not gonna wanna fray on their own quite as much. So. I did the same thing. Those tiny little slices are just a mini version of what I did before. Using my fingers, just kind of shredding it apart is really easy. This is what it looks like before you wash it. You definitely wanna wash it and look at how fuzzy and cute it looks afterwards. Again, full video modeling sesh coming later, but this is kind of the vibe that you get. Now this next pair is so easy, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna do this kind of curved hem idea. So first things first, cut off the existing hem so that it will fray. 
Next, you wanna cut the U, and at first I was gonna freehand it, and then I realized I should fold it in half so it's symmetrical. So you're gonna take your scissors, make sure that your jeans are folded in half with your side seams lined up, and cut a U shape. Next, use the first U as a guide for the second U, and that's it. Put it in the wash, and you're done. <laughs> it's really cute, it's just flattering. It shows just a little bit of ankle, which is actually a really slimming effect. This next pair is a little bit more substantial of a DIY. These are another pair of jeans I got at H&M, and again, I really love the high waist wide leg, but they were just a little weird in the length, not long enough. So I thought I would do this double hem situation. I grabbed an old pair of jeans that I had in my craft closet. I save all the good jeans for denim, and I'm going to layer it. I kind of folded my jeans to get a sense of length and then tried them on, marked where I wanted to cut them, keeping in mind that I was gonna be adding back in like four inches of jean. So these are being cropped a little shorter. I'm also cropping them like uneven and rugged. That way as they start to fray, it's a much more imperfect hemline. You can cut your straight, whatever you want. Another thing I wanted to do was actually close up the holes in these jeans. They're so big that they kind of like gape open and I don't think it's flattering. I just don't like the way they look anymore. So I'm taking the jeans and I'm sliding them inside, making sure that everything is laying really flat, that there's no puckers, and then you're gonna pin it into place. Put your hands inside the jeans so that you can feel that everything is laying really flat and that nothing is rippling on itself. Pin all the way around and this is basically how you can close up any holes in jeans that you don't like. This is just a big oversized patch. Now it's time to add the hem. These are jeans that I just buy at the thrift store. I buy any denim that's cool to use for any random parts and right about now I'm gonna use the hem. So I cut off two large pieces of the hem and I'm gonna figure out exactly how much of it I wanna use. One thing that's good to do if you can is to try to line up the elements of the jeans. So like the inseam and the outer seam, try to line them up. That way when you sew them, it looks almost like they were designed that way. I'm cutting off the excess from my knee patch because obviously I don't need all of that length and I'm just gonna visualize it. Lay one on top of the other, kind of stand back, look at it, decide how long you want it. I decided this was pretty good, so I'm just cutting off all the excess here. Now, you're gonna pin them into your jeans. Again, try to line up those inseams and outer seams if you can. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. Really, the most important thing is that you are using jeans that are the same width as your hem so that it just fits in perfectly and you're not needing to take anything in or sew anything additional. You just want a nice, perfect fit that you can add right in. Now it's time to sew it. You can follow the line and the shape if you want, but I decided I wanted a straight line. So I'm putting a piece of tape as a guide and now I'm just gliding the dark denim blue right along that tape. That's all I'm looking at, I'm gliding it along and stitching it down. Now it's time to sew the patch. So when you're sewing this, it is really important that you put your hand inside of the jean and not only feel to make sure that the patch itself is not rippling and puckering, but also to make sure that you're not accidentally sewing through the front and the back of the jeans together. It's kind of tedious to get in here, so you really need to keep your hand in there so that you can feel that everything is laying really nice and flat and even as you go. I would stitch about a quarter inch outside of the hole. That way you have a little bit of room for some additional fraying. Now, cut off your threads and you're done. Now let's say you don't know how to sew and you wanna fabric glue it. Same thing, you're just gonna have everything pinned, grab your fabric glue, put it all along the inner edge and sort of tap, tap, tap. Same thing for the hole. Now, just a heads up. Fabri-Tac is machine washable, but I'd say after about three or four washes, you might notice some gaps and you might just need to add a little bit more glue or hand stitch down certain pieces that release. I threw them in the wash and I was really liking the way it was looking, but I kind of wanted to exaggerate the sort of rugged, uneven hem. So I cut out a little bit more meat, making the dark denim part look a little longer and creating some more exaggerated like loopy loops on the denim. I'm gonna throw them in the wash and let them fray again. But before I do that, now that I know that everything fits and looks good, it's time to cut off all my excess. You're gonna go flip your jeans inside out and cut off anything outside of the patch. I'd say about a quarter inch, enough that you can zigzag around it is plenty. This is just such a great way to do patches without having like a custom shaped patch. All you need to do is sew a big piece and then cut off all the excess and it's a perfect patch. Same with the bottom, cut off what you don't need, zigzag and you're done. And this is what they look like. The video of them is really cool. They are beautiful, I've already worn them. I love them to death, they are so fun. Now this is the version to actually make jeans longer. This is the released hem. You're gonna open up the hem, which is gonna give you about an inch and a half more of length. 
So in order to do that, grab your jeans, grab a seam ripper, and just start releasing the hem. It's gonna be very easy in the main front and back areas of the hem. You can actually push your seam ripper in and kind of glide like inches at a time. When you're on the inseam and the outer seam though, that's gonna take a minute. Just be patient, release, release, release. Be careful not to poke yourself. Once that's done, you're gonna iron it and you could be done. Like this could be it, you could be totally done. Throw them in the wash, iron them, make sure they lay flat and that's it. I wanted to take it two steps further. Number one, I decided to actually cut a slit in the jeans. Releasing the hem and slitting the jeans is something I did in high school and given that all of the 2000 trends are back, I figured this was in. So I cut it open, that way it's gonna go up and over my boots even more, a, a, more of a bell effect. The other thing is I was a little worried that because I had released the hem, there was no weight on the bottom of the hem and that the jeans would kind of like flare up because there was nothing holding them down. So I grabbed some jean fabric that I had and I cut about a, I don't know, maybe a three inch strip and I'm gonna attach it to the bottom of the jean to create a little bit more weight. I decided it might be smart and you totally don't have to do this, but I had some extra wonder under that like iron on fusible stuff from my last DIY. And I thought, well, I'll iron it on, that'll fuse it and then I'll sew it again. This is an extra step you don't necessarily need to do, but I decided to do it. You can see that I'm ironing it, leaving out about a half an inch because that's a little excess I wanna leave making my jeans even longer. So I obviously wanna leave that with no um, adhesive. You can see once you iron it, then you peel off the paper backing and you can actually see the adhesive. It turns it into an iron-on patch, which is very cool. So now I'm lining it up and you can see that I'm leaving out that little bit of denim, right? That's giving me about another half inch to, I don't know, maybe three quarters of an inch of length, which I really want because I want these jeans to be nice and long that I can wear boots and heels. I ironed it on and now I'm stitching it down. You're gonna stitch all along the bottom. I would do one more stitch across the top so everything is secure. And the stitches also add that weight. And so the hem feels really nice and meaty. And these are amazing. I've worn these already and the length is perfect. They're like really big and exaggerated. Okay, for this version, I wanna show you how to expose the white horizontal threads. And I'm gonna do this in a little bit of an uneven pattern. So I'm gonna cut straight across the bottom, about hem to hem, I mean, a side seam to side seam. The next one's gonna go about half the distance. The next one's gonna go half that distance. So you can see that it's gonna create a little bit of an angled effect. Now, what you wanna do is start by releasing some of the white threads, anything that's loose, just release them. Once those are got done, you're gonna take your tweezer and start pulling out the vertical blue threads. This, the first one you do takes a second, the next one's easier, 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 and the more you release, the faster it goes. This is how you create those um, horizontal white threads, whether it's in a hole in your jeans or at the hem, you cut your slits going horizontally, and then you release the blue threads that go vertically. That leaves you with all of the white threads. The more you wash this, the better it's gonna look. It's just gonna start fraying and fraying and a nice big white hem. Super easy and super fun. That is it. All you have to do with these jeans, guys, is throw them in the wash once you're done. I would wash them once or twice with your regular load to start getting that good fraying. And that's it, we are done. All right, that's it. I'm gonna model them for you so you can see them like in action and really see them up close. They are so fun and so easy. And the good news is like the more you wash them, the better they look. So they're just gonna keep kind of releasing and releasing and tons of texture. So um, wash and dry away because it's gonna have a huge impact. I hope that you guys love this one. If you did, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'd love to have you. And like this video, that would be really helpful. Um, Okay, you guys, have a beautiful week. I love you. Don't you see? I'm here all alone and I like it. Baby, don't be trying to fight it.
Celebration, celebrate, celebrate.